It's night and day. Night and Dare back again, back with Aloy and the Grave Horde, where we look for answers. Silence has promised answers. This place will likely have them. Will Silence turn on us after we obtain said answers? I don't know. If he <laughs> does, know. we'll kill him, because this game is about Aloy, not Silence. Exactly. It's all about killing Silence. Not <laughs> <laughs> this game is about killing random people who we meet, not anything else. <laughs> oh, wow. I actually it's Serial make Killer Simulator. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those are always the best games. Oh, the... The water reflection on the wall to your right looks awesome. This looks amazing. The other right. That's right. Yeah. Oh wow, yeah. That looks so good. My goodness. Like every episode one of us turns the the camera. Yeah, the, wrong the exact way. opposite direction of where we're supposed to. You always at least for me, I think I got used to the camera on the x-axis, and then sometimes you invert the axis, but then, no, it doesn't matter. Every once in a while, you'll still be like, Yeah, and then, like, where the heck am I supposed to be? And then, as a response, uh, you'll obviously say, beep, 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 beep. Yeah, that's only that's the only correct justifiable response. Yeah, you speak tweets and robot chirps like Luke Skywalker with R2-D2. Yeah, exactly. I know you too much. I'm just proud of what you're doing. Thanks. Everyone back home is. We got moved in around 10 kilometers, just as a precaution, they say. School's still in session, so I get to keep my eye on Andrews and Reggie. We never know where or when you're fighting, but when the VTOLs go over, all the kids run out and wave. I believe in you. I know nothing's ever going to be the same, but I believe in you. I believe in us. Well, that's nice. Too bad he's dead now. Ames, I don't even know if you're alive anymore. The mails I get from you, they say they're from you, but they don't sound... They sound recycled. Phrases put together, and you don't say anything about the news I pass on. The containment zone, the rebreathers, the rioting, one earth. What happened in the Dallas bubble, Ames, that wasn't the robots. They won't even give me a straight answer when I demand to know if you're still alive. They just say if your messages keep coming, then you're still operational. It's not fair, Ames. It's not fair that you won't be with me when the lights go out. I love you. That's so sad. Damn, yeah, that got dark. Yeah, yeah. yeah this Holy is, cow, that was... That just got pretty heavy. Oh, my God. <laughs> Status report. Ninth Mechanized Response Brigade, Commanding Officer Lieutenant Fiona Morrell. Unit Morrell continues to be adversely impacted by outbound engagements against the Pharaoh Plague. Especially when said engagements occur in sectors where civilian guard enlistees have been heavily engaged. The scope and nature of fatalities suffered by civilian guard and unarmed civilians in these sectors defy description and witnessing it is generating a pervasive sense of hopelessness in the unit accordingly i once again request that deployments of the 9th mrb be temporarily refocused on facilities that are mission critical to project zero dawn and once again I request an immediate update on the status of Project Zero Dawn's timeline. Okay. I'd like it if more of the game had these, like, dark, kind of hopeless, time running out sort of interactions. Like, oh, yeah. Like if you go to any of the, the ruins, the metal world, whatever, the old world ruins, then you get scenes like this, which are all pretty well done. Right, yeah. Pretty amazing, but... The side quests and most of the stuff that we encountered in the cities with the people were so tame. Like, Durval was supposed to be this major threat, and he seemed like basically, you know, incompetent Saturday morning cartoon <laughs> villain. Yeah, right, yeah. But, uh, yeah, but when you get down here in the depths of, like, the ruins and you get to see what, like, life used to be like before it fell, like, it gets, like, really, really dark and 
and uh, and happy for you. Yeah, the writers show they can go to that place right, yeah. and evoke that emotion. I just I would have liked it if they did it with more of the people that you only see it in these areas. Right. They don't really do it with the humans that Aloy encounters now, in the game. Right, and maybe yeah. that's required for them to keep their teen rating or to get that if they if they make it too in your face. Hmm. Like if they had that one insane guy, Brom, if they had him like kill his sister right in front of you, if you brought him back to camp or something like that, which oh, would have been yeah. darker. If yeah. that instantly shoves it to an M rating because the, the more adult themed content happens right. too viscerally, like too much directly so. in, in the... Right, yeah, like if you don't see it, then it's, uh, it's less of a, a problem so you can keep that teen rating. But if it's like brought directly into the foreground, then maybe... Yeah, that's what they use to uh, to judge the the rating system for. Yeah, it, possibly, because yeah. this stuff is really well done. Yeah, definitely. And it's. I know it's been days, okay. honey. I'm so sorry. Deployments are uh, getting real long. We have to put in the work for everyone, like a family business. I still see you in the eyes of the people out there. They were glad to see us. They still had hope. I'm still fighting for you. Hmm. Yeah, maybe that's what she meant about fake strung together messages. Right, yeah. Thanks for the mails, you. Time goes fast in active duty. Four months with the wreck and recalls. Fighting with these civilian enlistees. Scrappy guys and gals. That's all coming together. Between us and the 6th MRB, we took down a horse. I hope you made the news, honey. Showed everyone we're turning this around. We just need to give Project Zero Dawn the time it needs. Huh. So if they went to that level where they faked the interactions between the people, was it... If the military went to that level, you would think they would just say, oh, your husband is absolutely alive. If they're right. willing to lie to that degree, I wouldn't understand why they didn't just say, instead of not giving her a straight answer, they should have just said, oh, yeah, 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 he's totally alive. Right, yeah, he's totally fine. No need to worry. And then the comment they used, operational, Yeah. Like, does that mean that they actually tried to turn some of the soldiers into half-machine cyborgs or AIs mm. of, them, of themselves? Huh. If the husband is... They, he's not or if they're dead like, he's not alive out. he's operational right yeah I don't know like maybe they're saying maybe they're just like AI versions of themselves like or they just have an AI that like sounds like all of the former uh, like soldiers and whatnot so just to keep their families at peace or not even at peace or just stop them from asking questions in general yeah, and if that's in play, then who would be necessarily doing that? Would it be the the human military doing it to cover up the, the mass deaths of so many soldiers? Right. Or would it be the actual machines, AI, taking yeah. over the humans and trying to make it look like that things are better than they are in order to help facilitate their takeover of the world? Right, yeah, exactly. Because it said they were adapting. Yeah, that would be insane. Let's see what... A hollow projector does. What is this? Yeah, that's good. It's a map. A map of what? Our world. The planet Earth, Aloy. It's not flat like you thought. Why would I think that? During eclipses, the shadow cast on the moon is curved. So our world is a globe. And it looks like this, from a distance. We'll discuss this another time. Back to the meadowed hand. The Faro robots were spreading across the world, eating everything up. Somehow, Elizabeth stopped them before it was too late. But how? Okay. I think there were some treasure boxes back in that room. There was uh, one, but it has a, what's it called, health potion. Oh, 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 okay, never mind. But yeah, we're all full up on that. This is really disheartening because I feel like we're really going to need health stuff. We did try for a fishbone a couple times, but... Yeah, fishes never gave don't it up. give us nothing, I guess. Yeah, there's meds every few feet. Yeah. <laughs> we're dead. Yeah, that's not a good sign at all. Especially when our meds are not looking too good. Yeah. Well, the potions are actually pretty decent. 
Yeah, we have six potions. Then one full health potion. And a bunch of fatty meat. Oh yeah, to make like a buttload more. So. <laughs> Please don't turn this thing off. It's a weird thing to say like it's a good thing. We got a buttload of it. <laughs> Tampering with a metal devil. Well, they don't think they can wake it, do they? Watch out! Yeah, yeah. Okay. The guy who said watch out sounded like Resh. Or Dash, whatever, the gate guard from the beginning. Oh, line. yeah. I feel like. And this one can move. What? Deathbringer. Oh yeah. Well, at least now we know how to take it out. Yeah, that's true. Um. Uh oh. It's a scanning. Uh. Is there a way? It's probably not for the best that I do this. Oh. Oh, definitely get to that. Uh oh, that's it for those. We're out of the material again. For these? Yeah. Oh yeah, I only have five. Maybe it's best to just let the dredgers up? Yeah, I think so. Go next to him, that would be great. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty good right there. Oh, that's a hell of a shot. Oh, did you make that? I think so. Yes! No. Damn, that was amazing. Good job. <laughs> Exit this room? No. Come back from where we. No, don't think it's going. Oh boy. What? Yeah, that looked like a jump you could definitely yeah. make. Not sure what was going on there. Um, yeah, I don't know how they were expecting me to go through there, but. So where else can we. Oh, there's a ladder there's there. There's a ladder here. I'm gonna see if I can do that. That's pretty awesome that it can blow up the environment. Oh, uh, I can't climb this. Ladder, so that's cool. <laughs> this is although a, you know what that means. Oh, I can rappel down. I'm not sure that that's that's probably a terrible idea. <laughs> but it seems. I mean, is this another death arena fight? I guess so. What is the goal currently? Is our quest goal to kill the death? It is kill the Deathbringer and the Eclipse troops. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Does it see you? Repel down might be the only choice. You have to, yeah, you have to repel down. Okay. Yeah. The sun shows no pity. So, <laughs> thanks, Eclipse the Man. The sun shows. No, okay, that's enough. So, <laughs> the sun we weren't as worried about as the giant robot shooting yeah, missiles at our the face. The giant marauding monster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, I guess we could do that too. Oh, you can repel down from both sides. Uh, but it's zombie, so that's cool. So maybe you can bomb a couple dredgers. What? Maybe you can just instantly be in the fight. I guess so. Let's try that and see how that works. No bombs. Everyone sees you. This 
seems difficult. Uh, you could say that, yeah. Oh, good. And everything is destructible. Are these things... Oh, man. Dredger, would you kindly... Oh, wow. my goodness. Oh, <laughs> Why he gets up and hacks at your yeah. corpse? What a dick. Nice. Oh, he didn't even wait for the boom. There's a guy on the ledge with you. Hostile spotted. Okay. Time to run, Mom. Would you kindly explode? There we go. <laughs> Hey, you've adapted my, um, yeah. my rolling style. Oh, there goes this guy. Oh! Would you guys please run next to the Deathbringer so that you can explode? Oh, you're gonna try and lure him over the Deathbringer? That's yeah. awesome. I guess just to the bottom of the side. <laughs> I have no idea where I'm taking this. Can you guys catch on fire, please? There we go, you got one. Those two are out. Yeah, it seems a little rough to make these shots. While the Deathbringer is raining hell down on you. Oh, this is destructive. Oh. Oh, I was wondering what the fuck is that? Nine! <laughs> hey. There it is, 179. Nice. Oh man, even that rock blew up. Yeah. Oh. Nothing is impervious Nothing to this is thing. Sacred. Nothing is sacred. Man, 179 again and again. You're actually making some respectable headway on its health. Ah! Uh, <laughs> you made that shot? That was uh, very impressive. Uh, there we go. Fine, don't have your missile launcher get destroyed. Uh-oh, uh drink a potion, please. Uh, uh, <laughs> drink the potion, please. Please drink a potion. You're doing well. Oh good, medicinal herbs and growing in this death hall. I don't... Huh. So I guess that thing's not going to actually get I destroyed, guess not. but it makes a great weak point. Yep. Drink our potion, please. <laughs> I'm freaking out when your health gets low after you've taken this thing halfway to Deathland. Oh. Uh. Look at that. Even crafting from the battlefield instead of going to the safety of the pause menu. Uh, That's pretty good right there. Is he upset? 
Oh, oh. that was less good. Potion? Oh, you're out of meds now. You gotta use the potion. What finally? Be careful. You're doing great. One more, two more, couple more, nine, few more, few more. Yeah. There we go. I did it. This is the soldiers. <laughs> Of those easy all, <laughs> all right and there we go now we can finally take care of these guys honestly if you can take them out at all with bow and arrows oh the these people should have no problem I would think the soldiers long ago would have done okay yeah you take a machine gun to the turret and to the face and it's dead and just focus fire on one of those um, like missile launchers yeah you're, what the hell you're pretty much done if an arrow takes out a missile launcher, oh, man, just give me like, I guess a pistol and and some cover and I'll be good. <laughs> I'll find a use for you. Oh yeah, definitely. That was surprising. Like the very first attempt you tried at the on the ground level. <laughs> yeah. No problem. Just go for the um, <laughs> go for that. One shot to distract and then drop down. They give you tons of supplies down here, so it's impossible to actually run out of ammo. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, they have everything set up for you. But, like... Like, in the matter of you trying to... Oh. Is this... Could you, like, drop down here? Just, like, hoard for safety? It would be nice if I thought of that, but... Hindsight's 2020, I guess. No space. Oh wow, we're full of stuff. We gotta drop some ridgewood. <laughs> <laughs> resources. I know we have resources. I think it was oh. the um the potions. Oh. The pillipos. The pillipo. I wonder what I get for this thing. Purple! Oh yeah. It probably has to be purple. It does bring her heart. Wow. Dang. Although we haven't seen any armor that requires that, so I wonder what it's even for. Yeah, maybe it's just selling or something like that. I don't know. How garbage would that be? Yeah, I know. It's just like thirty shards you get for, <laughs> for beating this thing. Haha. Uh -huh. Victory. Yeah, nicely done. Thank you very much, sir. That was, uh, that was epic to say the least, but it wasn't, like, grand. I didn't get the, uh, flawless victory like I wanted. No, oh, please. <laughs> yeah, I honestly think the Deathbringer should take less damage. Yeah, I think so, too. It's, I mean, if it's the biggest, hard, most hardcore Mamma Jamma machine, or, you know, have it take a lot of damage while the turret is up, but then once it's destroyed, it doesn't have necessarily another stupid obvious weak point right yeah. something like that so that it takes more shots total like, to finish it off because it's supposed to be this thing that wiped out civilization like yeah have it be like a retractable um like missile launcher so i don't i can't just like go on cover peek out shoot the um shoot the thing missile launcher and then go back in like, yeah true like the retractable cooling turret the previous more. one had yeah exactly Dr. Sobek, as projected, the Wichita salient has collapsed. Five Horus class titans have broken through. We predict contact in 34 hours. Everything is in position, General. Oh. It took a few shortcuts to pull everything together, but Zero Dawn is functionally complete. Good to go. That enduring victory served its purpose after all. Yes, if we'd had even one day less. I've sent you an encoded file, Doctor. Please do me the favor of archiving it. I'll... I'll see what I can do. What is it? A brief statement. An allocution of crimes, I guess you'd call it. 
To what are you admitting guilt? Over the past 16 months, Doctor, I have presided over the greatest wholesale slaughter of military personnel and civilians in the history of... history. Genghis Khan, Hitler, Stalin, Sorabella. Add them all together. They don't even come close. You didn't do the killing, General. No, not directly. But I didn't wind up the highest-ranked military commander in the United States by resisting the automation of the armed forces. Even before the swarm, Doctor, I was helping death along. So, instead of letting what I've done sink into the murk, forgotten, I sent a file with all the details. Let posterity judge my actions with clear vision. I'll do as you ask, General. But you should consider that... Were it not for your actions, our actions, there wouldn't be any posterity to judge us. Perhaps. Dr. Sobek? At ease, General. And goodbye. Hell of a thing. Goodbye. That's... Yeah, there we go. See, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. That's pretty dang good. So they did. They automated... Thank you, Dr. Sobek. You can take a seat. The human army. <laughs> You're going to sack her after what she just said? Dr. Sobek has made the situation very clear, General, and given us an option. We should all be thanking her. No, it's just... I mean, my God! Maybe take this discussion offline. There's not going to be any discussion. You saw the numbers. Now, Pharaoh, he'll foot the bill, but his money can't buy the time necessary to complete Zero Dawn. That's... That can only be paid for in blood. Oh, come on! If we upgrade our fleet, crack the code somehow... I... Were you not listening? Robots can't do the fighting for you this time. When it comes to hacking, this rogue swarm is an apex predator. Anything automated you throw at it, they will hijack and take over. But this... We'd be throwing civilians into a meat grinder. Commanders, the enemy we're facing self-replicates faster than we can kill it. And it eats biomass as fuel. Zero Dawn is all we've got. So we put a railgun in the hand of every civilian strong enough to carry one, show them where the trigger is, and point them to the front? How the hell do we sell that? By giving them something to fight for. Zero Dawn. The top secret super weapons program that will save us. So long as humanity holds off the swarm long enough for Dr. Sobek and her team to finish it. The file I'm sending contains the war plan for Operation Enduring Victory. War plan? This is a war crime. It may be ugly, but it's something. Consider the alternative. Dr. Sobek, I've secured use of a decommissioned orbital launch base outside Bryce, Utah as the Zero Dawn staging area. Plenty of space there. When can you get started? I've already mailed you a list of Alpha and Beta candidates. Most are foreign nationals or subjects of corporate holdings, so extracting them... Leave that to me. You'll get your dream team. Count on it. Then I'll be off. Now this quest is... Orbital launch base. What is that? This quest is so much what more interesting... Oh, Aaron yeah. Van Guardsman. <laughs> oh, yeah. What? <laughs> this is so insane. So much things are happening. It's ridiculous. And just seeing what the... Uh, oh. Did not see that coming. Glad to be rid of that place. What? Now I just need to find the orbital launch what? base they talked about. I've checked my data and located the base. That's the good news. And the bad? It's directly underneath the citadel. The palace at Sunfall. The capital of the Shadow Karja. Not exactly convenient. The palace is crawling with Eclipse agents. Many in positions of authority, all of them wearing focuses. The moment they see you, Hades will too. He'll issue another kill order, and this time, the entire Shadow Karja military will be after you. So, disable their focuses. You've done it before. It's not that simple. Too many focuses in one place, each of them communicating with each other and back to Hades, a whole network of them. Network? What's that? Uh, imagine a vast, invisible web stretched across the land from end to end, connecting focuses together, allowing them to communicate over vast distances instantaneously. 
All right, so is there some way to cut the web down? Hmm. Crash the network. Audacious. Yes, there is a way. A weak point in the network. Point the way. <laughs> I'll send the location data to your focus. Head there, and I'll be in touch when you're close with more directions. What was Zero Dawn? What sort of super weapon did Elizabeth make? She stopped the machines. Not before the world she knew. Her civilization ended. Let's hope it won't come to that again. Dang. Can we get back? Don't because think so. We didn't really fully search out the final area. Yeah, well, the only thing I saw was that crate. But I don't think there's a way back in. No! Oh, everything lost. With nothing to gain. <laughs> um, How did we get in here oh, in the first place? I mean, she just kind of climbed a ladder and that was it. That's how we got out. Yeah. But how we got in was yeah. like through the uh, bottom. So probably at the bottom of all this. Cause Maybe. We were, yeah, we can check and see if it's the opening is still... It should still be there. Yeah. Should be good. That's okay, we're just gonna investigate this real quick yeah, and yeah. uh or maybe not so quick and then we will if there's no way back in then we'll cut all that out so you guys don't have to endure the search. Yes. Do I really have to climb down on this? Seems like there would probably be a repel down option because that's how Aloy gets around, but maybe not. Okay. <laughs> Well, now there's not going to be. Yeah. <laughs> As if there was, it was up top. Yeah. <laughs> I guess so. Uh, now you're taking this way down. <laughs> At least the programmers included these... Ro oh. 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 No, they didn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> I just landed on it and then slid off immediately afterwards. <laughs> well, it was covered with snow. Yeah, that's true. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. Here it is. Found it. Now, how am I going to get down from here? That's what I was saying. Oh. This should be quite the ride. Yay. Really? <laughs> that's it. I mean, that's fun and all, but... How would you trust yeah. that that line is intact the whole way down? All it. What? Oh. Are you serious? <laughs> oh my god, so many things are happening. I'd do that again if it weren't so much work to get back up there. Are you oh. Batman, Aloy? That was a very Batman esque kind of thing. I mean, oh, look. you're skilled and all, but I, I don't know, buy it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's just this regular human being, but all of a sudden. Hey. hey, the front door is just open. Yep. Alright, so we're diving back in and we will meet you guys next episode right outside, ready to continue on. Indeed. We will uh, be back. Back on the path to more Shadow Forge and Victory. Prepared. We still didn't learn, actually, what Zero Dawn was in the Grave Horde, but Phone right. Dad is confident that we will at the next location. Yeah, apparently so. So we'll see. I can't help but think you did that on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be laughing this hard <laughs> if I did it on purpose. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs>